Okay, working on this uh, 5,000 velvet drive. On an engine we're overhauling, and the customer's complaint is when it's warm, it won't shift. You have to rev it up. Well, I noticed right away that I've warmed it up. So, and I'm actually warmer than I would be in the boat. So, 205 degrees. You see, I have no cooler flow. So, I'll rev it up to 20 liter. This has a failed pump. We're gonna put a pump in it and recheck it. Okay, I took the pump off. <clears throat> and what I noticed here is this is the old style pump with more teeth. And look at the clearance. Between the gland, that's a lot. And over here, I'm not gonna take it apart because it's new. You see how it barely moves? So we're gonna slap a new pump in there, get our flow, cooler flow back up to snow. Okay, we got our pump replaced. We now have one and a half gallons of flow. We now have one and a half gallons of flow on our transmission. So the pump took care of the problem. It was wore out on this two to one Velvet Drive 5000 series, 1993 Tierra, 29 foot. He was complaining of uh, having to rev it up to shift it. And one of the quick tests we like to do is this cooler flow test because this cooler flow test tells us if that regulator is blowing off. And that regulator blows off when we have sufficient pump pressure and volume. And the flow is terrible in both directions, forward and reverse. So I, I can't believe you have two leaks in two different clutch circuits. So the common denominator is a pump. And this early pump, they had some issues with them. So you can see now that we have good flow. So I know we've got good pressure. And that's going to take care of the problem on this transmission.